You alright, James? How you doing? What's happening, guys? You alright? How's it going? I'm yeah, good, I'm good. good. You? Yeah, good, good. Welcome to Pro Stubby Gym. That's what I like to hear. This is Michael, this is my son Christopher. Pop in, trying to show you around. Oh, it's a nice, nice gym, isn't it? Mm, busy gym tonight, obviously Monday night. It's uh, men's night, men and the boxing. Yeah. So I'm the other son, Michael's taking a boxing class. Here we are. It's always like this, busy. Coming guys, we're going to do a white kind of show on. Friday night. This is one of the classes that we've got going on down here. We do a few boxing classes every day. We've got a boxing class going on. This is the final week before the boys fight. The boys are fighting on Friday, so we've got a lot of white collar boys down. They might do a bit of sparring after the class as well, maybe I get the last little bits of training that they need to get in done. They're gonna do all that. I mean, some of the other boys are just here. They like to keep fit, like to use boxing as a way of keeping themselves fit and healthy. I mean, it's one of the most fitness demanding sports that there is out there, so it's very uh, on demand for something like this to be going on. With the own, one of the only gyms in the area with boxing going on in it, so I mean, we've got something that we offer that no one else around here can offer, and it seems to be that everyone enjoys it. As you can see, the boys doing some of the pad work. This is my brother, this is my little brother, Michael. Come on, Michael. And he comes from an amateur boxing experience. So he's been out there, he's been over to Ghana, done a bit of fighting over in Ghana, done boxing with the amateur boxers out there. And that. So he's got a lot to offer with his training. He's got from experience, plus he's doing his badges and getting all this stuff down to his training. And if you watch, this is one of his boys he started from from the west. Stuart is actually, Stuart is actually Tottenham Hotspurs, one of Tottenham Hotspurs physios. Yeah. He loves coming down here. Although they've got all the high tech quality training facilities, he's one of our most regulars who come down to the gym and he actually loves it. Look at him. And if you see him when he come in here before, he couldn't even throw a punch. Now look at him now, hardcore <laughs> dedication training, that's what that is. Could you tell me about some of the professional boxers that use your gym as well? Yeah, no doubt, got, there's, there's a few guys. Um, at the minute, Jason Rowland's down here with his boxers. He's got Tony Conquest who had a fantastic victory over Wadi Kamacho. Very, very gutsy victory. Being put down twice in the first two rounds. Coming back to put on a performance like that, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, we've got uh, Josh Smoke and Joe Mullender. Very good as well. He's going to be an exciting fighter for the fans to watch. You know, I mean, all action style. You know I mean, very brave, very aggressive. Fantastic for the fans to watch. Then we've got Mitchell Smith, who I think is a precocious talent. You know, some of the things I see him do in the gym, unbelievable for someone so so young and so inexperienced. But he's got maturity beyond his years. You know, so I think he's doing got to do really well. And also Miles Quinn, who's, who's looked like he's going to be a very good prospect. And also we've got Philip Bowes, one of my fighters, Philip with Silver Bowes, who we're looking at next year. Who's going to be kicking on next year? He's going to be doing a lot of stuff. We think. Hopefully, by the end of the year, we'll be fighting for titles. Also, I want to ask you about your man, Richard Comney. He's fighting Derry Matthews yeah. for the Commonwealth, isn't he? Well, everyone he? seems to be wanting to ask about Richard. Uh, you know, I mean, if, uh, he's a bit of a secret weapon. We're going to bring him over next year. Obviously, we've got to fight with Derry Matthews. So that's really, really looking forward to that, because we really do think that Richard is something special. I mean, anyone who's seen him in the gym knows what he's about. You know, and um, we're hoping that we, we get this fight on a March the 7th up in Liverpool. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic fight because Derry, as everyone knows, is an all-action fighter. Very, yeah, I mean, he comes forward, brave, fantastic sportsman, credit to the sport, and looking to do battle with someone like that, who's going to bring the best out in this one. It's all about levels, and we feel that Richard now is, is on that level. He's not past it, he's not beyond it, we're not taking Derry for granted. You know, I mean, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for Richard, and uh, we're looking forward to a fantastic fight on the night. And hopefully we're taking a few people up there, from Loughton, from Essex, also some Guardian supporters up there, and hopefully the atmosphere will be cracking. So we're looking forward to that. And as soon as he's in the country, I'll let you know, James, and we'll yep. come and interview with him, see him train, see what different techniques and styles they bring from Ghana with his trainer, Carl Loco, who's a fantastic trainer. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. My mate Kofi Pra watches all the iFilm stuff, iFilm TV stuff. He's Ghanaian. He's been talking about Richard to me for ages. I was telling him I should be getting him on the channel, I should be following him about Richard yeah. is what's happening. Listen, the lightweight division in this country is very, very hot. 
it's, um, it's a great it's, division. It's a great division. There's some fantastic fighters. But what, what we've got to be careful of is, is that they're all domestic fighters. And when they ban about the word world world class, you've got to be careful that you're fighting from the same pot. You know what I mean? There's fighters outside of the country that are equally as good. So you can't just banter about the, the world class. You know what I mean? You've got to fight people outside the country to start class yourself as world class. Richard is going to bring that to this to this country. He's going to bring that. And we went up to we went up to Ricky Burns. They requested us to go and spar with him, and he put on a fantastic performance on there. More so for them to even ask us back. It was a fantastic opportunity for Richard. They accommodated him very well. Billy Nelson was fantastic with us, as like Ricky Burns, a gentleman. I uh, treated us fantastically, and there was there was, you know what I mean, very gracious in their praise for Richard and where he can go. And it was very touching for us because obviously Richard's a, uh, Ricky's a world champion, and for Richard to share a, a ring with a world champion gave him great confidence, and gave us great confidence in seeing what he can do. So I think Richard is going to bring something special to the lightweight division in this country, and we'll see if any of them really want to mix it with Richard. We're not taking Derry for granted, but we're going to fight Derry, and then we're going to look to we're going to look to plant some seeds here and watch Richard grow over the next few years in this country. Well, listen, I think it's an interesting journey to see Richard coming over and doing his thing. He's got a very tough test. I said you before in Derry Matthews. Test, it, it looks like a great fight. Be yeah, a great I'm looking fight. forward to it. Don't worry, it'll be a great fight. And then, like I say, as long as you know what I mean, we get great judges on the night. I mean, we'll we have every confidence that we can do a number. Fair enough. Last thing, tell me, tell all the kids at home to come down to the gym. Tell yeah, me about well, the classes. Tell me about the facilities. We've got boxing classes. We've got, we've got Danny Spice, who used to have an amateur boxing club himself. He's come down. He's training. He's helping us train some of the, some of the uh, young kids in the area. I mean, we're looking to do some, do some other things in the area. We some amateur boxing and stuff like that. So we're looking to the gym to grow in boxing wise. We're trying to get some. We're trying to put some program in place to get young kids off the streets and come in to do some boxing training. We've had some very good um, people coming into us and wanting to help, wanting to, wanting to sponsor for us to do some stuff. So it's looking good for the future over the next year or so. What we can do with boxing in land. Just recently, we've had Towie in doing bits and pieces with <laughs> us and driving us mad and stuff. So it's, that's also given us a better profile as well. So we're looking to progress and do some lot more stuff in the gym. Along with myself, my son Christopher, my other son Michael, who are training in the gym. We're looking to progress and, and, and build a family business up and hopefully with Richard Comey and get some champions in the gym as well. If you come round this way, some of the other stuff that we've got going on, we do um, we do yoga classes and we do spinning classes. At the moment we ain't got a yoga class on to show you, but we've got a spinning class going on down this end. Okay. So look. That, I mean that is great for that is great for fitness, spinning, very great for spin, uh, for fitness and um, very 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 hard work. Yeah. You'll get things like standing up on your bikes and riding, trying to go uphill, sitting down, riding, but it's very, very, very relentless. It's not for the faint-hearted. You want to do a spinning class? It's, it's great fitness. You do need, but it is very good to start off with. And then you've got your other stuff out here. I mean, you've got people doing their weights and that, doing their weight training. You've got all the weights that you need out here. We've got um, a lot of people doing using. We've got the treadmills. We've got the cross trainers. And if you come up the top end, if you just take a quick look through this door. This is where we've got all our free weights. Where you've got people using their okay. bench press and all that lot. Like, this is all out this side. We also got our personal trainers. This is another one of our personal trainers. Say hello, Chris. You alright? How you doing, Chris? Alright. Yeah, right? yeah, good, mate. And yeah, that's another one of our trainers that we've got here. I mean, we've got great staff here. We get a great atmosphere. As you can see, everyone loves their trainers. They finished the boxing class, and as you can see, everyone's got everyone they like to talk, have a laugh, have a job. You know, we try as much as we like to keep everyone fit and everyone working towards their goals, their aims. But we like them also to have fun, and it makes a great atmosphere right here. And I'm sure that everyone will agree that we do have a good time here, as much as we do put in the hard work here as well. <laughs> well, we've seen the gym, obviously, you've come down. Thanks for coming down and filming around and seeing the boxers and the, and the, and the people in the gym. Uh, Christopher, would you just like to say a couple of words before you go? Well, as you can see, this is the gym that we've got here. This is what we like to offer. Um, a lot of people come down here with smiles on their face, come out, they like to see what they've got here. And um, hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen around and about the place. And this is the Pro SW gym, everything we've got to offer for you. Yeah, obviously myself, I work, I work here, obviously we run a business as a family run business with Christopher, my other son Michael, takes most of the training, does a bit of training, um, 
he's actually he's actually got his seconds license and hopefully he'll be looking to do his professional trainer's license next year. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll be looking to build on this and create some champions here for the future. Listen, guys, I want to thank you for having me down today, Mike. It's said it's a great gym. No problem. And hopefully, keep doing we will have you down more often because obviously we're building some champions here. You, as you see, Jason Rowland's got some good fighters here, and hopefully, over the next couple of years, you'll be seeing some champions come out of this gym. Top man. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here, James. Nice to meet you. Nice one, brother. Take care. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. This is James Helder at the SW Gym. Thank you.